Hello everyone, it's been a little while. Uh, I've been working on 3D Sember, which is like a daily challenge to do a 3D model every day. So I wanted to have everybody join me today in my 3D model. And today we're just gonna create a simple barrel. So I'm gonna be using 3D coat to start. And since it's a barrel, I kind of have a decent idea of what I already want. And I'm just gonna jump right into 3D coat. And here's the first screen you're gonna start with. And I'm just going to go right into voxel sculpting. And I'm going to start with a clean window. So I hit that. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to the top and toggle between isometric and orthographic. You'll notice isometric, uh, normal perspective view is like this. And we want the one where it's kind of gray. And if you don't see any kind of uh, stuff on your screen, let's hit the, we're going to turn the grid on. And you're also going to do the hide show access. And those are just those little buttons up there at the top. And so now that we're in the program, uh, I'm just gonna go over a few quick basics here. Uh, to navigate, to move around the screen like this, you just hold Alt and left click. Um, to zoom in, you hold Alt and right click and slide left and right. And those are kind of the basics. Uh, oh, and hold Alt and middle mouse button to uh, kind of slide around the scene. Okay, so that's kind of our basics and from there we're gonna start making this object oh another neat trick here is if you hold shift it'll snap you to the side view so I'm gonna snap to the side view and make sure it's snapped to front see if I go over here and go snap it says right we're gonna go over so it says front hold shift and snap now we're in front view okay to start we're gonna click on primitives and it gives us a whole bunch of different primitives here to work with but we actually want this uh, create lathe tool. So we're gonna click that and it gives us this kind of square or not square, but see how it's, uh, the ratio is off for a barrel. So we wanna, we wanna make it about the height of a barrel. And from there, we're gonna start modifying this curve. So I'm gonna go on here. Oh, and on the right side of my screen here, you can see these are my reference images from previous 3D samples that I've done. And I kinda wanna, I wanna stick with that, that sort of view or that sort of style. So you notice when I go over to this side, it makes that object thin. When I go over to this side, it kind of gives it a little bit of a, you know, a little more thickness to it. And we want this barrel to look like it's kind of bursting out a little bit. Um, oh, I moved my, <laughs> I moved my reference images there. So we want our barrel to have a little bit of a curvature like that to it. And then I can say if I want it a little higher, a little taller here, we can just move it over on the side. Maybe I'll have it kind of symmetrical here, so we'll put that right there. And that's pretty much our barrel shape, at least the basic barrel shape. Uh, and then another thing to note in 3D Coat, your layers deal with, there's like resolution for your voxels and stuff. Um, in this case, I'm just going to click this once, so it says 2x voxels. And now that that's there, this primitive shape, it doesn't actually exist if we were to go to draw and stuff on it. It's not there yet. So we'll go back to primitives. This is basically, think of it like a stamp or something like that. And we can just click add. All right, we'll make sure, we'll we click add there and then we hit apply. You can actually subtract and things like that too. But, so we're gonna apply and then we're gonna look at it. And we, I'm gonna hit C, which I have a shortcut set up to and that's basically cut off. And I'm just gonna go into this mode and I'm not actually using cut off, I'm just gonna look at this barrel and check out a resolution it looks like it's pretty good so i think it's going to be fine and now what we want to do is i actually want to cut down inside the barrel a little bit so there's a few ways we can do this i'm probably going to do it kind of an odd way and so first we're going to grab this layer the same barrel layer and duplicate it you can see it's down here and you can set all your hotkeys up if you hit using the uh uh, end key let me hover over hockey and I have this so to control D because I use it a lot so we're gonna duplicate and I'm actually gonna move this up to just over here and this is I'm gonna call this right now it's just gonna be called lid it doesn't actually look like a lid but we're gonna call that there and then turn off and this one we're gonna call barrel maybe barrel main so it's like the main part of the barrel okay now I'm gonna duplicate this again and you'll see why I'm doing this in a second and I'm actually gonna 
scale this down. I'm using the transform tool over here on the side. I have that set to T and we're going to scale that down a little bit. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut the barrel, like kind of that, um, that uh, indent you'd get on the top. I can't quite see how deep this is. So we're going to click on this right here and see right here next to the barrel main, like they'll ghost it. This right next to it, that'll turn on and off for you. So I want to see that ghosted image. And this is kind of giving us that, uh, see it kind of curves like that. I actually want to change that a little bit. I'm going to stretch this down and then I'm going to go back up. And this is going to give us a little less of a curve. And there you go. Let's see. You know, this actually might work better if I, yeah, let's do this a little differently. Let's, let's delete that. Let's go back to primitives. And let's go up here and let's just make a new primitive. And I want it to have a little bit of an angle. And we're just going to use this tool instead. It's going to be a little bit cleaner. So I'm basically just figuring out how thick I want the outer barrel. So you got this is kind of the board thickness there. And it may not be correct, but I kind of want it to bend out a little bit like that. I think it'll look it'll look better in lighting and things like that. So now that we have that, we're going to click where it says add. We're going to hit subtract instead. And I might have to turn this back into this mode. Let's see if it actually did it. Yeah, see it doesn't do it because it's in ghosting mode. I'm going to put it back in the ghosting mode just really quick so I can see where this is placed again. Turn off ghosting mode and hit apply. And now when we slide this up, take a look inside there. Look at that. It's nicely cut out. And I might actually up the resolution just one more tick here so it looks a little cleaner. All right, put the ghosting mode back on. And go down to the bottom. And got it placed correctly. Turn off. Hit apply. And there we go. So I've got the cut there and there. And I might actually just redo this cut just a little bit just to make it a little smoother. And you know, you'll find you want to do this a lot just to kind of get that perfect cut and whatnot. Okay, I didn't really do that much. Oh wait, let me turn ghosting on again. And there's about there. I want to make sure I get a little deeper. If it doesn't work, that's okay. Yeah, there's a little sharper inside there now. Okay, so now I actually want for texturing purposes, I'm going to make a separate lid that's going to go inside here. And to make the lid, we're just going to, we're going to squeeze this down. And we could use the other tools and stuff, but this is already kind of the right shape and size. So I'm going to change this around a little bit. And for the lid, we're going to, oh, <laughs> it's going a little crazy. Let's actually, let's delete this little key right here. So I'm going to hit the delete key. And I'll delete that center point because we don't need that. But I do want this to have a little bit of a, a little bit of an arch to it. Just a little bit of an angle. And we're only gonna we're gonna do one lid. Let me just bring this down the size just a tiny bit. And you can also see here, here's our size, so we could do 4.5 for height, and then maybe we want this to be just plain 44. 44. There we go. And that looks pretty good. It's a little bit bigger than we need. Maybe we'll put that down to 43. There we go. 43. Okay. And we're going to make a new layer. We're actually going to delete this old layer. We're going to do that a different way. We're doing it differently now. So we're going to res this up twice and then go to add, hit apply, and there we go. So now this is actually a separate object. So that's the barrel lid. And let's see, we're going to move it down a little bit. So it'll, it'll sit right about there, but I'm going to actually probably 
keep it outside of the barrel for now. We're going to put it right up here. And I'll show you why eventually here. Okay, so now we need the banding areas around the barrel. We could do these two different ways. We could do them as separate objects, or we could do them as within the same kind of piece. I think I'm actually going to change them to separate objects. So I'm going to duplicate the barrel once, and I'm going to basically, we're going to cut away the areas we don't want. So I'm going to turn this off. Well, actually, I'm going to put one to ghost, and I'll leave the other to regular. And we're going to say um, banding. It's kind of that banding that go around the barrel. So we're going to go to our cutoff tool. And basically, the cutoff tool is you can slice and dice your objects really easily. And that brings me to one of the main parts of 3D Coat, and that's if you hit E or click on this icon right up here. And these are all your different kind of brush strokes and cutoffs and things like that, different selections. So if I wanted to cut off at like an angle, I could use this one right here and just click, 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 and close. And now cut it off like that. See how it's cut off inside there? But we just want a straight cut off. So we're going to do this one. And another thing we want is symmetry. So we're going to go up to symmetry and say symmetry. And I believe we want, no, nope, we want uh, Y symmetry. So it's split right down the middle. Okay, so now that that's enabled, we're going to hit E and we're going to select the rectangle lasso. And my first kind of barrel ring I want maybe around there. And we're actually going to, now that we have that first cut, we're going to go to transform and scale this up to the thickness of the ring would be. So about right there. So now you're seeing how that could be kind of the ring. Okay, so we're going to go back to cut off again. And I want this first ring to be kind of, that's going to be pretty chunky. So let's, or maybe we'll do, you know, we could do, we could cut out. Should we have, we could do two or three rings. Let's try it with like a kind of a main ring up here. And then maybe like either like a small secondary ring like that. So that's one way you could try it. I'm going to turn this on like this and see how that looks. That looks pretty cool. Uh, we could also try it, uh, let's try it this way where we do a ring on the top and a ring on the bottom. So we got kind of that trifecta, the three rings to rule them all. Oh wow. <laughs> you come here for the jokes, right? So we could do the three rings to kind of have that look to it. I kind of liked, uh, I kind of like this interesting sort of primary ring like this and then like a secondary ring like that. I think that's kind of a cool look to it. Okay. So I think that's pretty much our basic ring shapes there. So we have a barrel lid. And by the way, this is going to be the top and bottom for the barrel lid. So I'm going to, I'm going to title that lid. Again, we're going to look at the resolution. And you, if you hit W, it's going to give you your voxel resolution. That's pretty good, but maybe we could sample it up one more time. Let's see how it gives a little more smoother edges there. Okay. Also, remember to, if you like this video, hit like. Uh, if you really liked it, subscribe. And also leave a comment. Uh, let me know if there's any questions you had. This is kind of like an overview, so it's not super in-depth. But uh, perhaps I'll do a super in-depth view of 3D Coat soon. So I will see you in the next episode.